Okay guys, it's another day, we're back at it. This was rated on our Instagram to do for our next YouTube video, my self-care routine after having a baby. And there's a bunch of things that I've talked about, but not fully into detail of everything that I've used. On social media, I did a reel about pack my hospital bag with me. And a lot of you guys were saying, oh, bring this, bring this, bring this. And I only did like a snippet of what was in my hospital bag. So I'm gonna kind of go over like what I did in the hospital and what I brought home with me and kind of what I'm doing now. So this week makes, what is it, six weeks postpartum. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good, six weeks. And I am feeling a lot better. I was supposed to go to my six week checkup this week, but they couldn't get me until next week. So I'll go at seven weeks. Hopefully all my stitches and everything's all healed up and gone and everything looks really good. Then hopefully I can start working out again and doing all the things. But some of the things that I don't use anymore, um, kind of what I used when I first came home. So a lot of you guys said to use stuff in the hospital. And then some people said to pack your own things because the hospital things aren't very good. But I just kind of went with my gut instinct and I ended up going with most of the stuff in the hospital because I liked what my hospital had. So there's the Frida Baby shorts that I wore, but I loved the hospital ones. Those are what I lived in for the first like couple weeks. I guess I still have some of the stuff upstairs so I can show you some of it. But I used the hospital pads because they were like really big and like they were perfect. And I'm weird with pads. I don't really like to wear pads and I thought it was really going to bug me, but the hospital pads worked wonders. They gave me ice packs, which they said you don't need to use after 24 hours, but I had Frida Baby ones here in my house that I used. If you don't have Frida Baby stuff, you gotta get Frida Baby. All their postpartum stuff is amazing. I'm trying to think what else. I used those. Well, we, I feel like there was a lot because cause I helped you a lot in the hospital. And <laughs> I feel like- I couldn't because I had pushed for three hours I was really, really swollen down there. So it kind of took me a long time to like recover and I was in like a ton more pain. So Jonas had to help me to the bathroom a lot, but I used the tux pads, which I have upstairs. Well, this is what I remember. Those are those cooling pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was like your diaper thing. Yeah, it was the diaper, it was the pad, it was the ice pack, then it was the tux pads, and I had that spray, but I forget That's what That's right. Was. It was like the, it was, it was a spray for itch and burn yeah it was like an itch and burn spray we'll have to look it up and let you know what it's called all i remember is that that took like 10 minutes every time you went to the bathroom to redo everything i know and then the frida baby water bottle so for recommendations when you go to the hospital my hospital had everything that i actually really liked there to use for postpartum some people they don't a lot of people said make sure to bring you know water shoes for the shower and bring your own towel I brought my own pillow, my own blanket, my own snacks, and then of course everything for the baby. And then I brought some nursing bras, just my clothes, a robe, things for pictures, a little bit of makeup, some self-care stuff, not a lot of things. Sometimes a lot of people with their first bag, they overpack. I did not overpack because everyone was like, you're in the hospital for like two days. I mean, obviously, unless you have a C-section, you might be there a little longer or if something goes differently, but we literally live five minutes from the hospital. So if Jonas needed to run home, he could for me and grab stuff. But I did the minimalist packing that I could um, just because literally in the hospital, I didn't even still use half the stuff that I brought, which everyone says you don't. So I also didn't shower when I was there. I waited still a few days after I got home like two days after I got home to shower. Oh, the hospital will give you tons of stuff. So I got to take home a bunch of stuff with me. They gave us diapers, wipes, which were nice. They were just Huggies brand, which Huggies isn't my favorite, but I was like, hey, it's free diapers. We're gonna use them. So that was really nice. But yeah, there's a couple influencers that I follow that I love that were having their second babies and wrote out what to bring, what to pack, what they loved, what they didn't. And so I kind of just followed that guideline and that like really helped me and I feel like it was perfect. So I guess we can go upstairs. I'll show you what I've been using and kind of what I'm doing now, but I'm pretty much in full recovery. So it's been great, but we'll go upstairs and I'll show you. Okay, so my white cart was really organized towards the beginning when I was using everything in it. And now I kind of have stuff in different areas, but I still use this cart. I'll explain kind of what I had in here and used. It's kind of empty and a mess at the moment. And I 
doing laundry so then i need to like restock it but anyway a white cart is really handy after postpartum to have in your bathroom you can wheel around and it's been awesome so you need to get one of those i don't like it because it gets in the way it's kind of big well our house is just small we don't have a lot of room <laughs> and then another thing you need that we've been keeping in our bedroom at night is her toilet it's the that's not that's not a toilet <laughs> Well, it's kind of like a toilet. That's a trash can. Because you're putting her poop in there. That is a trash can. And then can. you flush it down. <laughs> Just whatever. You know what I mean? Trash can. I messed up. Sorry. This is the Ubby Baby little trash and it's the best. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys really quick my postpartum routine and then my daily routine that I do now. So postpartum routine, I would use the hospital diapers and I brought those home with me. I could throw them in the wash, reuse them. And then I also have the Frida baby ones. I took a picture in these at, um, when we did the newborn pictures at the hospital. These are really awesome. They're kind of more tight fitted. So I feel like it kind of like sucks your belly in a little bit. And I just really liked the hospital ones though, cause they're just super comfortable and we're just nice to lounge in for those first two weeks. So I would use the diaper and then I would put on the big pads that the hospital gave underneath. I'll link the pads that I used after I ran out of those that were still pretty big, but not as huge and worked awesome. I saw an influencer that I follow that I love she posted about them and so I got those ones and they were great. So then after I put the pad on, I used the Frida Baby Ice Pack, which are awesome. They're like the same ones that they have in the hospital. And then after I used the Ice Pack, I used the Tux Pads. These things are amazing. They kind of look like little makeup pads and you literally just put three of them down on top of the Ice Pack. And then I also used that itch and rash spray so that spray was amazing we'll have to link that as well because i forget what it's called but you can only get it on amazon you can't buy it in the store which is so weird they don't carry it i guess only your doctor can give it to you or something but you can also get it on amazon that's what i used for the first two or three weeks um postpartum and then the frida baby perry spray bottle the perry bottle was terrible so that was one thing like I didn't pack was my own Perry bottle. I've been telling my friends when you go to the hospital, make sure to bring you the Frida baby Perry bottle because it works so much better. The other one was crap. And then I got two of these. So I had one upstairs up here in my bedroom and then one downstairs in the downstairs bathroom in the kitchen. So that was really nice. So I don't have to like carry it around with me. And then I, since I have two, if I went out, I could bring one with me, which was really nice. Screw the one that's in the hospital, use this one. So I use this, I still use this. I've been using it the whole six weeks. I'll probably maybe still use it till I go in at seven weeks just to make sure that everything looks good and stuff and I'm just being clean down there. So that's what I used coming home from the hospital. And then when my breasts were really swollen, I used these, which are bomb. You can heat them or you can put them in the freezer. So I used these, these were amazing. And then same brand are my breastfeeding pads. I love these the best. I had like the Target store brand ones and then a different brand. I like these the best. So I use these as my nipple pads and then same brand nipple cream. This stuff is the best. So they also make, which I don't have anymore, but they make like little jelly pads and they're really good for cracked nipples. So when I was really cracking at the beginning, I used those and they're good for up to like 72 hours or something. So you can like reuse them, just make sure they don't fill up with like a ton of milk. Cause if they do, then they're not really good. Make sure you just use them and then take them off. Don't leave them on too long. Those were bomb. This brand, I don't know what it is. It's magic. Everyone says that this stuff's the best. So this is what I use. Still use it, have it in my diaper bag. It's great. That is kind of my daily routine. That's what I use. And then now that I do not have to use those big pads, I still kind of leak a little bit down there. So I like using just these little carefree, um, super, super thin. This is like the thinnest they come, um, regular body shape. And these are the carefree anti-fresh little pad liners, which are amazing because I hate pads. I hate when things are thick. 
and these are super thin, comfortable, and they do the job. So probably don't really need to use them anymore, but I just like to be on the safe side. So these are really good as well. That's kind of my routine postpartum and kind of what I'm doing now. So that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy, pretty simple. At six weeks, you go and have your postpartum checkup with the doctor. And once you get cleared, I'm good to go to work out and do all the things. All right, Lottie was being fussy, but that was my self-care routine. It was a lot more, especially when I came home from the hospital. It's gotten a lot easier, not much to do now. But don't forget to follow me on Instagram at mikhailskinner2016. We'll be putting up polls to see your guys' thoughts on what videos we should make next. And let me know if you guys have any questions. I've seriously tried every single product there is, I feel like. So if you guys want to know more, let me know. And that's it for my self-care routine, and we'll see you guys on the next one.